A mom with seven kids says she happily skips bathing her children daily and sends them to school stinky as skipping a bath won't kill them. Handing out parenting advice, Aussie mum Constance Hall admitted she doesn't have time to wash her brood every day due to their demanding schedule, reports The Mirror. In a bid to save time, the blogger said she doesn't mind if her five children and two stepkids go to school smelling and on some busy mornings she will let them eat with their hands so she doesn't have to do the dishes. In a post on Mamma Mia, she said, they don't have to bath or shower every day. They can quite often skip that part of the routine if it's getting everyone down. Im like. Fine, stinky, go to school and gross everyone out. I personally can't be f bathing everyone every night. Constance backed up her decision by quoting research from the American Academy of Dermatology that suggests youngsters aged between 6 and 11 only need to bathe once or twice a week unless they are dirty, sweaty or have a skin condition. I know it makes them look more lovable when they are all clean and smell fresh, but really, skipping a night bath or morning shower a couple of times a week won't kill them," she added. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You'll receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. Talking about meal times at their home, she added, feast with your hands. Dishes are the worst part of dinner. In other cultures everyone eats with their hands off the same plate. Eating should be one of the pleasurable things you share with your kids, not a blur of angry memories. So if they don't eat their dinner, don't stress, try something else, keep trying or just let the turd eat his plain pasta and tomato sauce. None of my kids ate anything healthy under 7, they all eat well over 7 and they are perfectly healthy. Other parenting advice she dishes out includes having picnics, using colored-coated buckets to chuck each child's clothes in, having a checkout time where you can relax and blocking out her kids' noises by donning headphones. She said, I can't respond to the 400 questions a day by six different kids, the fights over whose turn on the iPad it is, or who ruined what. I just can't. So I block it out.